Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Video Channel. In today's video I will try to explain how and when to use GameMaker GML Visual Set Speed Block, drag and drop block. And as you can see there are uh, small changes in uh, GameMaker Studio 2. It's not called uh, GameMaker Studio 2 anymore, so they rebranded uh, the name of the software so now it's called game maker which is uh, shorter and faster to use and uh, I guess it makes more sense for newcomers and beginners to address it that way but I think that uh, old school game maker studio fans will be uh, angry I don't know I don't care that much and same goes for a uh, drag and drop system system of coding which we are explaining here it's now called gml visual again uh, uh, nothing changes other than a simple name a brand name uh, so it's uh, just a couple of uh, different words or a couple of words missing so it's not game maker studio but game maker and it's not anymore drag and drop but uh, gml visual <coughs> gml stands for game maker language and uh, by default it is used uh, <coughs> as uh, coding typing uh, coding language so gml visual makes distinction in, in that way that it it uh, reminds us that it is used with visuals with drag and drop blocks so in today's video let's uh, go to game maker and Although it's called Game Maker Studio 2 in my uh, menu and tab still because I'm, I guess I'm using the older version, uh, it doesn't matter. So we are going to try to add some kind of uh, other features today in uh, our game and uh, to use some somehow to use set speed block. Uh, that block as its name says is used for um, ad adding speed to some kind of object sprite or something like that and uh, it's uh, very very useful in uh, games you mostly mostly in 2d games you have lots of stuff uh, enemies players and so on moving on the screen so they will need some kind of speed and you can use it in uh, different ways I will uh, show some simple version of it and uh, in uh, my game so far i have a player object which is a white square uh, which can be moved uh, with um, arrows on key keyboard to collect these yellow circles which are coins and that's it uh, some kind of uh, exit button uh, um, recycle button which restarts the game again uh, some kind of enemies as red triangles and so on uh, and that's it so let's try to add some kind of enemy I have explained in a series of later uh, previous videos that uh, how to make sprite an object so I will do that for my game now because I need that so I will uh, right click on the sprites create sprite and uh, rename it into SPR oops oh uh, yeah it's caps lock because I'm using that for my uh, recording never mind SPR uh, I will change that later SPR enemy and I will um, click on edit image and uh, click on uh, I don't know maybe green color fill tool and this is my enemy some kind of uh, snakeish green okay that's a sprite I cannot uh, use my sprite uh, in my game uh, without creating object placeholder for it so I'm right clicking on objects folder create object and again obj underscore <coughs> enemy and I will click SPR enemy for the sprite and uh, that's it for making my enemy I will uh, click on room one and drag and drop this uh, no sprite sorry obj enemy and test it to see if it works 
um, this kind of enemy will uh, have not uh, it won't have any kind of uh, uh, feature on it mechanics or action because we haven't coded anything in it yet it's just standing on the screen doing nothing and that's it okay so let's try to uh, add this kind of block and uh, which will move our enemy in some direction so um, before adding uh, drag and draw block a gml uh, how it's called gml visual uh, block I uh, need to define some kind of event for my uh, object for my enemy object and uh, I need uh, to uh, think about it do I need a create object uh, event sorry or a step event uh, do I need it uh, trigger it triggered only once that's what create event does it uh, it is called only once in game or this step event which is uh, called every frame in game so if a game game has uh, like 60 frames per second this event will be called 60 times per second it's very intensive on your uh, engine on your uh, computer and so on so you don't want to use this step event uh, very much only when you have some kind of changes uh, on the screen so i will go with create event first to see if that will be good enough for me and now i will try to find the um, set speed uh, which should be in a movement uh, or something like that blocks yes movement blocks so uh, try to find movement uh, drag and draw blocks and then uh, go for set speed this is the one click and uh, hold and drag it to your left and it uh, oops i have deleted the uh, zero was default i think so uh, this block set speed it uh, says uh, uh, type direction horizontal or vertical it's a drop down menu so i won't change it and speed is zero and there is a checkbox which says relative we have used some kind of similar uh, menus drag and drop boxes and uh, fields uh, like this in for different blocks so you can uh, figure it out all by your own I guess but uh, let's try to change this speed to 3 and only that to see what happens in the room when I do that uh, again uh, think about it in a coordinate system like x y coordinate because this is 2d and we can see uh, the green uh, square is moving on the right and he disappeared because he went off the screen the screen is only uh, i don't know 800 by 600 pixels wide so that's our game screen and and that uh, that this is very important that doesn't mean that this uh, green uh, square disappeared totally f from our game it's still in our memory so we have to uh, delete it somehow later we will learn that if we haven't talked about it earlier not sure uh, but it's making uh, some kind of effect on our game engine on our game so again it's uh, if you have like uh, uh, 10 or 100 enemies doing uh, something out of the screen you don't need to have them in your game you should delete them as objects and they are not deleted until you do that uh, on your own so you have to be careful about that uh, game makers any other game engine it doesn't uh, uh, think about those problems for you until you uh, uh, say it precisely what to do how and when so uh, lots of beginners forget that so uh, this speed tree as i was uh, trying to tell you is uh, try to think about it in uh, when you have numbers and movement in a game maker or uh, to the game engines try to think about it as um, uh, coordinates in coordinate system x and y so if it's uh, plus it goes uh, on the right if you're on x uh, coordinate and x axis and if it is minus it will go to the left if you're talking about uh, x coordinate x axis so i'm going to type minus here to just show you how it will go now 
on uh, the green enemy object will go to the left now because I have added minus and that's it so we have enemy moving and that's great so let's try instead of uh, direction and horizontal horizontal is what we have had here already so let's try a vertical what will happen Yeah, it goes up, so minus is going up for the y coordinate and plus will go down. So if you want the enemy to go down, uh, click uh, for vertical type and, and positive number. And if you want to go up, click for vertical and negative number and same um, mindset for the x coordinate plus for the right minus for the left uh, this vertical means uh, go up or down horizontal means go left or right and this direction which we haven't uh, had uh, yet in our games it's um, it's like having some kind of uh, arrow some kind of line which represents the direction and it's called uh, in uh, Mathematics and the game development, it's called mostly vector, vector uh, line, vector value. And again, I think a bit of it as some kind of uh, arrow which points where you want to go, uh, your direction. So in the real world, it would be like uh, I'm heading for, I don't know, another room uh, for a refrigerator. I'm going out, I'm going uh, straight, I'm going left, right, and so on. So that's my direction. And same goes for um game uh, maker and other game engines you won't use left right up and down always sometimes you will uh, need the more precise and more defined direction like go for top left uh, coin so direction will be coin uh, top left or top right or go to level two uh, door and so on or follow the player so player will be my direction and i couldn't use that in terms of uh, this block yet because we don't have that uh, direction defined other than horizontal or vertical and again if you type just three or minus three or any other uh, positive or negative number it will be considered as a horizontal so uh, by default it's horizontal if you want to go up and down change it to vertical and that's it <clears throat> and uh, one more one more thing to explain here is this relative checkbox uh, i think it won't uh, change anything here on my screen yet when i check it why i will explain that soon um, yeah it goes to the right same as before with the same speed so this speed makes some kind of force going up uh, or down left or right and it is a fixed constant but uh, sometimes <coughs> you want you you will want your speed to change to grow to make uh, enemy player go faster or slower or something like that to be relative so relative means change changing in uh, time or space and stuff like that and again that's uh, connected and you have to use your brain when you make games or do uh, stuff for games code them uh, and so on uh, so um, i have just explained that before uh, there are different events in your uh, for your object in game maker or, or any kind of other game engine so create event is the first uh, event it is only triggered once it is only played once so um, game maker reads this create event code only once and uh, executes executes it only once because that's what create does that's uh, like a def a definition of create do it only once so it's like um, naming a character giving it uh, speed which won't be changed giving it um, uh, health uh, or ammunition or something like that uh, for starting points so that's what you will mostly put in creative events so that's um, some kind of information which the game will read 
uh, only once and this step event I will add step now event to my step step event to my uh, obj enemy just to show you the difference this step event uh, game maker reads this so many times in one second second uh, 30 or 60 times per second and it depends on how fast your game is is it uh, 30 or 60 frames per second uh, fps so by defi uh, defining uh, the speed of your game you uh, are affecting the step event and vice versa so you have to be careful about that so game maker will do any kind of action here 60 or 30 times per second and we will do uh, see that uh, now so i'm going to click on create event set speed uh, drag and drop block and um, disable it because i don't want to use it in create event i want to use it in step event and show it show the difference here's how you can set speed uh, let's try it first with the tool simple as slowly just as in uh, create event to see if it will happen um, if it will give us the same effects yes so yeah i think the create was speed was three so okay so let's start with three and it gives us the same effects why is that so uh, even though the step event the game maker is reading se uh, step event 60 times per second it always says uh, it always gives the information to game maker okay the speed is how much the speed is three so it will keep this game uh, object enemy object moving at three pixels and uh, per frame and it will go same all the time because we have said okay speed is three and that's it but if we check this relative box now and check it in a step event so think about it as now the game maker is asking okay how fast are you going i'm going three pixels per frame but it's relative and that means add in every frame add three more so this relative means add more add more add more add more and so on so yeah telephone but i'm finished here soon uh so uh, now this green i will put it here to be more visible now this green enemy object will go three pixels in first frame to the right but in the second it will go how much it will go three plus three so it will be six and in the next frame it will go three plus three plus three that means six plus three nine in the next frame nine plus three twelve twelve plus three fifteen so it will go faster and faster in every frame so let's start the game to see if that works and this is uh, this won't uh, go uh, i won't use this because this will be too fast yeah as you can see this is really really fast because it adds very very fast in first frame it's three in second it's six in third it's nine twelve pixels fifteen pixels so in a couple of frames that's like 30 frames per second in uh uh, one second it will go so much to the right and it's still going somewhere to the right i cannot see it but it doesn't mean it's not working yet and on and on so uh, it doesn't make much sense for us to use that relative here but sometimes if you use some kind of uh, slow for example 0 0.25 value uh, and relative it will be uh, subtle and more uh, visible on the screen so it will be yeah it looks like it's speeding up which is great that's it for this video i have to go i have another call and see you soon